guys, it's iHeartK here coming to you with another video. I have a special video for you guys today and I have a really good reason as to why I took so long to make this video. Like, okay, so I really don't like talking about personal stuff like that goes on in my life. But before we get into this video, if you haven't yet, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I'll give you some time. Are you ready? Are you done? All right. Yeah, let's get into this video. So the reason I took so long to film this video is because I was going through a point in my life where like a lot was going on for me and I just couldn't find the time to put this video out there into the universe but now I feel like I'm I'm well healed I'm better more than ever right now so that's why I can film this video right now for y'all it's what I'm gonna be talking about today is how to get over a breakup not exactly how in general but how I specifically got over my breakup and I know this is like this used to be a touchy topic for me because i was still going through you know the motions of the breakup but i feel like i'm way better than i ever have been throughout this entire process and that's why i'm making this video for you guys right now so that i can put everything out there not exactly everything but everything i want you guys to know and that i think you guys should know so at first when when you're going through a breakup like especially if you love that person and you're not ready to let go it's one of the hardest things you could ever go through life as a young adult you want to give yourself time to hurt at first i did not believe this like i didn't know what that was like give myself time to hurt to heal like i'm never gonna heal i'm always gonna be hurting that was my mindset and that is the wrong mindset to go through a breakup with because no matter what happens in life if you're still alive you know what happens life goes on life always goes on if it doesn't go on for you it's gonna go on for the next person so you might as well and make that happen for you as well so i went on a trip to cali with my ex and what happened was, I don't want to talk about the trip, but when we got back, uh, shortly after, we ended things. And it was like, it was a mutual decision, mainly because, you know, we didn't want to end things on bad terms, you know, and be enemies or anything like that. So it was like a mutual decision. Nobody cheated on anybody. We just decided like, this is not going to work. Like, it's just not working. Like we thought we were in a good space we thought we were in the right headspace to continue with the relationship at the time but really and truly if you feel like something is not gonna work out for you no matter what it is if you feel in your heart that it's not where you want to be please i beg of you do not force it because if you force something it's unnatural and it's not going to be like your life is not going to be a happy one you're just going to be living a lie basically so i feel like it was the right decision even though in the moment i felt as though it was the wrong decision like i convinced myself and i convinced my ex that this was the wrong decision knowing deep in my heart that it was the right decision. I, I was just trying to hide behind the relationship. Like I just wanted to be in a relationship with that person at the time. I was trying to be like, you know what? Like, don't matter what everybody say, this is gonna work out, this, that, and the third. But you know what? I feel like everything in life happens for a reason. Even though it, like some situations might not work out, everything happens for a reason. And don't you ever try to force something to happen. Just allow everything to run its course. Allow everything to happen in the, in the right time because when you force things, it don't last. It never lasts. You can like, for example, like cheaply made clothes made in China. What happened? They don't last long. You wear them for three days, 
wash them three times in the washer they're done like you know so everything in life is like that if, if it's rushed it's not gonna last so you have to allow everything to be organic allow everything to grow from the roots like from the soil from scratch do not try to rush anything because you're gonna end up in a cycle in a circle and that's the thing with me I loved the idea of being in a relationship and I loved being in the relationship just to know that you have that security, that sense of security of having somebody by your side that you can talk to about anything. That best friend, you know, like at the time I felt like I didn't need friends. I just had my ex and we did everything together. That's why I was really heartbroken after the breakup. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and let you all know why I haven't been uploading anything, you know, any videos or anything. But from now on, I promise, it's a new year, it's 2020. I promise to be more consistent with filming, with uploading, with YouTube in general. I really can't tell you guys how to go through a breakup because everybody goes through a different process. You might take a month to get over that person or a few weeks. It might take a few months. For me, this took approximately six months, like the entire process. I know it takes longer for some people, but getting over my ex and my past relationship took me approximately six months, I would say, because I just felt like I needed to get that energy out of me I was broken, I was hurt. I would be at work just thinking about him and what we had. Looking at pictures, that is toxic as hell. That was a toxic phase I was going through. But looking back at it, we need to go through that phase in order, in order to overcome that feeling. We need to go through the breakdown. We need to cry our tears out. Because if we never do, it's gonna catch up on us. It's gonna haunt us. So I feel like me going through that breakup, like everything happened the way it was supposed to because like I didn't want anybody, like any man to invade my space. I just wanted to heal at first. Guys, do not, and I, I, I can't stress this enough, do not try to keep in contact with your ex after the breakup. Don't try to console each other. Don't try to help each other get through the breakup because that is the wrong, that's the worst thing you can do. That is the worst thing you can ever do. Do not because it's gonna take you longer to heal. I'm speaking from experience. I did this. I wanted to talk to him every day still as if we were still together, but that did not work out for me. When, when I really started healing, like my real healing process began when we weren't in contact every day. Yeah. I know it's going to be hard. It's going to seem hard to all of you. Whoever, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman going through a breakup, it's going to seem really hard for you to just let go of the relationship. But if you know it's done, if you know it's gone, if you know it's ended, and like you're not going back to that relationship do not try to keep in contact with that person you know on a every day on a daily basis because that is very toxic and it's hot it's going to make your human process worse and harder and longer if you just want to get over the breakup as soon as possible just give yourself time to cry to remember and you're going to get over it i promise you that happened to me and I allowed myself the time that I needed. At first I thought, you know, I don't need time. I just, I just want you. I don't need time to heal. I just need time to work on this thing that we got going on. But yeah, that didn't work, <laughs> clearly. Anyways, I'm still single. If you're looking for a long show, I'm just kidding. I don't know who that was, but that wasn't me. I'm sorry. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, everybody's 
um, healing process is not gonna be the same. So I cannot tell you, yeah, guys, step one to getting through a breakup, this. Step two, I cannot give you steps to getting over a breakup because everything happens in for different people in different time, in a different time frame and in different order, in a different order. Like for me, it took me a very long time to, to delete pictures because you know, you got the memories in your phone. You don't want to let go of those. And it's going to take long, especially if you like if you are especially if you're a person like me who takes a lot of pictures you're gonna take very long to delete those pictures but you're gonna get there one day you're gonna be like you know what today is the day where i find myself today is the day where i decide that i don't need these memories anymore i'm finally letting go and no matter how long it takes you to delete those pictures, it's gonna happen and you're not even gonna miss them anymore because that person's out of your life. You have a, a new life, meaning a whole new routine, life without that person. No matter how close you were with that person, you can get over it, you can overcome it. Because I have, at the moment, while I was going through the breakup, I felt like I could not live without that person. We were so close. We did a lot of things together, but I'm still alive, still young, still beautiful, still doing my thing. And he's still doing the same thing. Like he's still doing his, him. I'm doing me, he's doing him. I'm happy for whatever he's going through, whatever he's doing in life. And I'm pretty sure he feels the same way for me. I just want you guys to know, no matter what you go through in life, just know that it happened, or in this case, it didn't happen for a reason. God knows why it didn't happen, and just know that if you keep your mind open, He's going to open doors for you that you haven't been expecting. You're going to move on from that breakup, you're going to heal, you're going to be happy, you're gonna meet someone new. Don't try to rush it. Don't don't try to force it. Don't be overwhelmed with being single because you need to get you need to learn how to find yourself after a breakup. Learn how to make yourself happy individually before you add happiness to someone else's life. You need to have happiness within yourself. If you don't have happiness within yourself, just know note to self that nothing is ever going to work with the next person that's where happiness starts with you you i'm talking to you right there <laughs> yeah happiness starts with you so don't try to go into relationships looking for happiness make sure that you're good you're well set on your end before you attract other people into your life before you bring someone else into your space because your space is important to you and your growth if you want to get anywhere in life make yourself happy first because that's where it all starts with you